scientists have again issued a warning about asteroid 2024 YR4. They are studying the trajectory of the asteroid more closely due to its unpredictable orbit. Initially, when the asteroid was first observed, scientists calculated its probability of hitting Earth to be about 1.3%, and its path will cross our orbit on 22 December 2032, and was initially estimated to have a 1 in 83 chance of a direct hit. As more detailed observations have been made and its trajectory has been refined, the estimated risk has increased to 2.3%. However, after further observations and new sets of data, experts now say the chances of it hitting Earth are extremely low, almost close to zero. This updated confirmation from NASA has definitely brought relief to many, as it means there's no immediate threat of this asteroid impacting Earth directly during its upcoming flyby. But wait! While Earth might be safe, the Moon may not be as lucky. You might have already heard some early speculations that 2024 YR4 could pose a threat to our lunar neighbor. Initially, scientists estimated a little over 2% chance of the asteroid hitting the Moon. But now, recent observations from the James Webb Space Telescope have upgraded that risk. According to its latest data, the probability of this asteroid striking the Moon is actually higher than earlier estimated. New findings suggest there is now a 4.3% chance, or in simpler terms, one in every 23 flybys that the asteroid could collide with the Moon in the year 2032. In a recent research paper, scientists have emphasized the potentially devastating consequences of this asteroid's impact on both the Moon and Earth. This new prediction has once again sparked public concern. So, let's dive into what this collision could mean, how severe it might be, and what kind of ripple effects it could have on our planet. Estimates suggested that 2024 YR4 is an asteroid between 40 and 90 meters in diameter, a size large enough to cause serious regional damage if it were ever to collide with Earth. Although it might sound small compared to some of the giant asteroids known to roam our solar system, an object of this magnitude has the potential to unleash catastrophic effects upon impact. For example, NASA's calculations suggest it may be about 54 meters across, a size similar to the object that is thought to have caused the Tunguska event in Siberia over a century ago. The Tunguska event of 1908 remains one of the most dramatic natural explosions ever witnessed on Earth. The Tunguska asteroid exploded in the atmosphere over remote Siberia and was similar in size to this recently discovered asteroid. Although it never struck the ground directly, the air burst released energy equivalent to several megatons of TNT. The explosion flattened an estimated 2,150 square kilometers of forest, knocking down millions of trees and generating shockwaves that shattered windows hundreds of kilometers away. While the sparsely populated region of Siberia spared human life from large-scale tragedy, the energy released in the airburst was enough to flatten forests over a vast area, and although there were only a few casualties due to the remote location, the same event over a modern city would have led to enormous loss of life and property. However, Recent observations suggest that if asteroid 2024 YR4 hits the Moon, its impact could be more severe than if it hit Earth. That's because Earth has a protective atmosphere, which can significantly reduce the asteroid's energy by burning up parts of it during entry. In contrast, the Moon has no atmosphere, meaning the asteroid would strike its surface at full speed and force leading to a far more powerful and direct impact. Paul Wieger, lead author of the study and a researcher from the Department of Physics and Astronomy at the University of Western Ontario, recently published a paper titled The Potential Danger to Satellites Due to Ejecta from a 2032 Lunar Impact by Asteroid 2024 YR4. In this paper, he mentioned that asteroid 
2024 YR4 has a approximately 4% chance of striking the moon in 2032, and if it does, it will excavate a crater about 1 kilometer in diameter. The blast would be equivalent to about 6.5 metric tons of TNT and, according to new research, would send about 100 million tons of debris into space. This cloud of debris could pose a hazard for satellites. He also said that 100 million tons is a lot, but not all of it will make its way to Earth. Depending on the actual impact location on the moon, as much as 10% of this material may accrete to the Earth on timescales of a few days. From the variables involved in calculating the trajectory of this asteroid, the authors simulated 10,000 clones of the asteroid and their trajectories, and he found that 410 of them struck the moon. The impact would likely be on the southern hemisphere of the moon's leading side, the impact debris that reaches escape velocity will not disperse isotropically. The fraction that reaches Earth depends heavily on the impact location. The researchers investigated four of the 410 simulated impacts to determine how much ejecta could reach Earth. They found that there's a significant probability that this asteroid will strike a location on the Moon that delivers 10% of the impact ejecta quickly to near-Earth space. This high-speed ejecta could spread far and wide, potentially reaching the vicinity of Earth. Scientists warn that this could significantly increase the space environment hazards, especially for our satellites. Satellites in low Earth orbit, which make up nearly 90% of all operational satellites, would be most at risk. The increased exposure to high-velocity debris could accelerate wear and tear, leading to faster aging and reduced lifespans of these satellites. Researchers note that the greatest danger would occur within a few days of maximum ejecta delivery following the impact. And here's the dramatic part. If some of this debris enters Earth's atmosphere, we could witness one of the largest and brightest meteor showers in recorded history, a truly spectacular light show in the sky, albeit caused by a dangerous event. But the real question is whether scientists have any plan to prevent this collision. Because of the rising risk estimates, the scientific community and space agencies are now intensifying their monitoring efforts. Telescopes on the ground and in space are tracking its movement and international collaborations are refining its orbital parameters in real time. On the other hand, a recent reports indicate that some scientists are planning to explore a nuclear deflection strategy as a last resort measure. Although such a plan might evoke images straight out of the 1998 film Armageddon, the actual execution would be far more sophisticated and fraught with technical, legal, and political challenges. The basic concept is not to shatter the asteroid into dangerous fragments, but rather to alter its course by transferring momentum. In practice, this would involve launching a robotic spacecraft armed with a nuclear explosive device. The spacecraft would travel toward to the asteroid with precise navigation and timing. Rather than colliding directly with the asteroid, the nuclear device would be detonated at a calculated distance from its surface. The explosion would vaporize a portion of the asteroid's surface, a process known as ablation, and create a jet of ejected material. The resulting recoil effect similar to the thrust produced by a rocket engine would nudge the asteroid slightly, altering its trajectory enough so that it would miss Earth. Scientists are thinking about this bold step because, recently, NASA conducted a hypothetical exercise to protect the Earth from a hypothetical asteroid that had a 72% chance of hitting the Earth in the next 14 years. During this exercise, scientists found that our current technology is not capable enough to prevent the impact of any such devastating asteroid in this time period. So if an asteroid actually poses a threat to the Earth in the near future, we have no solid defense against it. Well, that's the end of this video. If you found it interesting and informative, let us know your thoughts in the comments. We'd love to hear from you.
Also, if you'd like to support our work, you can do so by purchasing our t-shirts or donating via Super Thanks. Your support helps us create more amazing content. Thank you for watching.